We're already on chapter two, Tanner. Chapter two, their inevitable deaths. Oh, that was a little intimidating. This is Wigglytuff's guild. You sure this isn't a cult? No. Uh, to form an exploration team, you need to register your team here. Then you have to train until you become a first-rate exploration team. Yikes. Isn't there something just a little odd about this place? You don't say! No. I've got Tanner with me this time. I have to be brave. Pokemon detected, Pokemon detected. No footprint, no footprint. The footprint is Star Twigs, the footprint is Star Twigs. Wah! And the, I have to be strong. You may enter. Someone is with you. So get that stranger to stand up there. They probably meant you, Tanner. No. <laughs> they said to stand up here. There's a grate covering the hole. It's made so no one can fall through. How nice of them. Still, this is really strange. What if a muck came up there? Would it just fall through the cracks? Looks like it will, uh, will take on my feet, or... Hey, you stranger! Get on the grate! Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! Who's footprint? Who's footprint? The footprint is... The footprint is... Uh... What's the matter? Sentry! Sentry! What's wrong, Sentry Diglett? Uh, uh. Um, the footprint is. Maybe Chimchars! Maybe Chimchars! What, well, maybe? But, but, it's not a footprint you normally see around here. You went to five years of footprint school! Got your master's in footprintology! You dumb son of a bitch! Exactly. Ugh, that's pretty crummy. <laughs> Taking the footprints of Vigzy Pokemon. That's your job, isn't it, Diglett? Yes, but I don't know what I don't know. Meanwhile. What? Are they arguing? Probably. It's hard to make you wait! Well, it's true you don't see any Chimchar in these parts, but you don't seem to be bad. Okay, good enough. Enter! Thanks. I'm so nervous. So jittery. But I'm glad we're finally allowed in. My heart's pounding, though. Okay, let's go in. Th there's a hatch that leads underground here. Wow. So this is Wigglytuff's guild. So many Pokemon. I wonder if they're all on exploration teams. Maybe. So there's a lot of different people voices for this guy. I always imagined him as a stuffed up guy. Uh, and you'll see why later. There's you two that just came in, right? Yes. I'm Shadot. I'm the Pokemon in the know around these parts. I'm Guildmaster Wigglytuff's right hand Pokemon. Now shoot, leave the premises. We have no time for salespeople or silly surveys. Off you go, if you please. You know, that's not why we're here. We want to form an exploration team. That's why we came. We want to be trained as an exploration team. W what exploration team? It's rare to see a kid like this want to apprentice at the guild, especially given how hard our training is. Surely the steady stream of Pokemon that run away from our rarest trading proves how true that is. Uh, excuse me? Is the exploration team training that severe? What? Yes, we get one in three members. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. It's not true of the slightest. Our training program is for exploration teams as easy as it can be. Well, well, well. I wish you had told me up front that you wanted to be an exploration team. Hee <laughs> hee. Attitude suddenly changed it. Okay, let's get your team signed up right away. Follow me! Not anything wrong? Come here! Over here! Quickly, please! 
get ready to meet the best character in the game. <laughs> this is the guild second underground floor. This is mainly where the apprentices work. Team registration is this way. Come along, please. Wow, we're two floors under the ground, but you can still see outside. Oh, please, hush now. This guild is built into the side of a cliff. It's only natural to be able to see outside. Oh. Well, I thought they took that moment to make my character a fucking dumbass. <laughs> So many Austria violations in building in a cliffside, but I'm just gonna let it slide. Now, here we are at Guildmaster Wigglytuff's chamber. On no account, I repeat, on no account should you be discourteous to our Guildmaster. Guildmaster, it's Chatterhot, I'm coming in! Damn it, not next time he's quickly closing a laptop. <laughs> Guildmaster, I present you two Pokemon that wish to join our guild as apprentices. Guildmaster? Um, Guildmaster? Hiya! Hey, I'm Wigglytuff! I'm in the guild's Guildmaster! You want to form an exploration team? Then let's go for it! First, you must register your exploration team's name. So tell me your team's name! No, oh, our team's name? We didn't think of that. So what do you think would be a good name for us, Tanner? The default is Pokey Pals, but I think we can come up with a better one. Hmm. Well, this is something to be lived in infamy. <clears> hmm. <throat> out some ideas, maybe some themes. Do we want something? I mean, we're Grass and Fire, so Tokemon is like the, the basic bitch one we could go for. Ah, Tokemon, but yeah, it's pretty basic, though. Ah, uh, we're both technically quadrupedal, I guess. Hmm. Oh, also, God, the, the, the Wigglytuff's theme is like the best. <laughs> also, his death stare is like awesome. Pick a team name! <laughs> pick a team name, fucker! You better pick a good one! <laughs> or I'll eat your soul! <laughs> one in three members just get fed to Wigglytuff to feed his insatiable urges. <laughs> Smoke him on. Maybe smoke Omon or maybe smoke A1. Smoke A, there we go. Smoke. You know, sh what? That's really good. Keep that up, but how about schmucks? Like the schmuck Omon. <laughs> I like Team Schmucks. Look over these schmucks. I like Team Schmucks. I think that's Smuck. Okay. I was thinking more S -A -S -H -M, Like Schmuck. Oh. Or would it be would it pronounce like that? Like Schmuck? Schmuck? I don't know, which one do you think sounds better? I like schmuck. We're the schmucks. I like team schmucks. Schmucks? Team schmucks. Yeah, that's a good name. It suits us. <laughs> also then, I'll register you as team schmucks. Registering, registering, all registered. Yupta! <laughs> Congratulations! From now on, you're an official exploration team. I present you with this. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> it's the cocaine. <laughs> that face doesn't look like that. Wigglytuff, really tough not do cocaine, baby. <laughs> Wigglytuff set down a Pokemon exploration team kit. 
but then quickly picked it back up as that was his special kit. <laughs> <laughs> the Pokemon Exploration Team kit. Yep, it's whatever Exploration Team needs. Quick, open it up! Be some more cocaine spills out of the box. <laughs> Sorry, this character is awesome. So we got badges. Hello, and guys. a wonder map. I wonder what the wonder map does. And a treasure bag. Yeah, there are all sorts of great items in here. That's your explorer's badge. It's your official team identification. And there's the wonder map, which is a wonder of convenience. Finally, there's a treasure bag. They let you carry items you find in dungeons. Your success as an exploration team can lead you to bigger, bigger space for your treasure bag. It's a very wonderful bag. Have a peek inside your treasure bag. Wigglytuff's got something special inside his treasure bag. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't even finish it. Oh, God. Wigglytuff, Wigglytuff should be careful what's in his wonder bags. Yep. They could land him four to eight years in prison. Exactly. A defense scarf and a lime bow. He, like, winks at you with a lime bow, like, Yeah, baby! <laughs> yep. Those two items are special! I'm sure they will help you in your adventures! Thank you! We'll do our best! Yep. But you're only apprenticing right now, so do your best to train! We will! Let's always do our best, Tanner. Ampo! What the fuck are you two doing? Posing for the camera. What camera? Wait, this camera's in here! <laughs> <laughs> Gross. That was his table inside. He's got his, like, bunker down there. <laughs> <laughs> this is your room. Great, we get beds. No, we get piles of hay. <laughs> but, okay. You live here while you work for us. We will Sir, be your life. Sir, this sounds a lot like communism. Shut up! <laughs> Things will get, get start getting busy for you tomorrow. So rise, and, so rise early and start living up to our code. Don't stay up late. Get to sleep early tonight. That is all. I actually sleep like that. <laughs> oh, are you still awake, Tanner? My heart's been racing all day over every little thing. And I'm glad I finally made myself come here. I thought Wigglytuff would be scary, but he seems pretty friendly. As long as he gets his fix every 24 minutes. Yeah. We're all going to, ex we're going to experience all sorts of things starting tomorrow, but I'm not very scared. In fact, it's the other way around. I'm super excited about the adventures we'll face. I'm feeling a little sleepy. Let's give it our all tomorrow. Okay, Tanner. Good night. What? What were you talking about? I was asleep. This um, is you. Now I'm suddenly apprenticing at the guild. I gotta admit, it's pretty exciting. But or to be an apprentice on an exploration team. Yeah, it's fun to be friends with Joseph. Joseph's a pretty cool chicken. <laughs> He's so a first thing's chicken. first. Who am I? That's a philosophical question right there. Like, how did I turn into a Pokemon? Another philosophical question. How did I end up unconscious on that beach? That's a normal Tuesday. I'm feeling sleepy too. Probably shouldn't worry about these things right now. Well, thinking about it, it won't help me right now. I better focus on the guild's work right now, not my impending crisis of self. I, will. <laughs> <laughs> I need to work for the company before I can have my crisis. Yep. If I do that well, everything should become clear eventually. Hopefully. Oh, God. <laughs> I'll surely get to the bottom of this and at least come down from my THC high. Eventually. Would I like to save? Sure. Quick tip. You can save a record of your progress for climbing in your bed from now on. So whenever you want to save your progress, just climb into your bed. The next morning. Hey! 
Hey there! Where's the shine? Mm, yeah. Actual noise I make when I get out of bed in the morning. My head is my head is pounding. What a ridiculously loud voice! Someone's blasting my eardrums. Papa, is that you? Why are you still asleep? Wake up! Yeah. My poor ears. Come on, snap out of it! I'm Loudred. I'm a fellow apprentice. If you're late for our morning briefing, you'll be sorry, so move it! Man, your name your parents named you so accurately. Guildmaster Wigglytuff has got a big temper if you make him lose it. Yeah, we that would be one scary scene. I've got goop pumps to think about it. Yeesh! So anyway, I'm not about to get in trouble because you rookies got up late. So get your ass in gear! The bodies Wiggly Tough laid that day are a foundation of what we have now. <laughs> oh, my ears are still ringing. What did he say? Something about getting ready. Uh, oh yeah! Fuck! Shit! First day of school! <laughs> we signed up as predators! That means... Ah! We overslept! We gotta go! Zoom! You're late, rookies! Hush! Your voice is ridiculously loud! Oh. Everyone seems to be present. Very well, let us conduct our morning address! Guildmaster, the guild is in full attendance! Thank you, Guildmaster. Please address the crew. <laughs> Guildmaster Wiggles have never ceases to amaze me. Yeah, you got that right. Yep, looks like he's wide awake. He, his eyes are wide open, but he's fast asleep. Thank you, sir. We all value your words of wisdom. Okay, Pokemon, take our Guildmaster's words of wisdom to heart. Finally, let's not forget our morning cheers. All together now. A one, a two, a one, two, three. One, don't shirk work. Two, run away and pay. Three, smiles go for miles. Okay, Pokemon, get to work. Hooray! So yes, quite cult-like, yes. You totally just signed me up for a cult. Yes. Hey, you should just be wandering around there. You two come here. So, the main mechanic of this is you have the mystery dungeons like the one we entered before. What? Mystery dungeons in a Pokemon mystery dungeon game? Precisely. You're just beginners. We'll have you start off with this, this assignment. This is the job bulletin board. Pokemon post requests from, uh, from various regions post job requests here. You're aware that bad Pokemon are cropping up in greater numbers, right? Yep. Because the flow of time is getting messed up, it's wreaking havoc, right? Whoa, well, well, whoa, where are we getting wrecking time havoc? <laughs> Which is why... Why are they, they fucking mentioning this now? Like, it's something I already know! Yeah. Did I miss something? Normal, yeah, yeah, time, space, time continuums, space time continuums crashing down. Shouldn't mention that to the guy who thinks he's a human. The flow of time is getting messed up. At least they're acknowledging it. Time? As in, like, hours and minutes? Man, I'm dumb. Do you think something's gone wrong with time? Man, I wonder if I can correlate that to why I'm here. Because of that, more and more bad Pokemon are popping up. Yeah, because totally, if I would lose an hour of sleep, I'd turn into a homicidal maniac. No wonder. <laughs> What's going on here? Precisely. Time getting out of whack has caused an outbreak of bad Pokemon. Perhaps because of all that, we've noticed an increase in the number of jobs. In addition, and it is unknown if this is because of time's influence, there's also been a mass outbreak of mystery dungeons. Wigglytuff so has something to do with this. I can inside jobs so that way he can get more jobs. <laughs> mystery. So, Tim. You know how we got my relic fragment back yesterday? The place where we found it was a mystery dungeon. A mystery dungeon changes each time you go into it. There's a different layout and different items every time you enter. If you faint in the middle of a dungeon, you lose half your money. You can even lose half your items or more. And finally, you get kicked right out. They're very strange places. 
and every time you go inside one, there's always new things to discover. They really are fantastic places to go explore. Well, you're quite informed, aren't you? That makes things much easier to explain. Jobs all take place in mystery dungeons. So, let's look for a job you should be able to perform. Ah, yes. Maybe this will do. Oh, really? Let's read it. Hello, my name is Spoink. An outlaw has run off with my most precious possession, my precious pearl. That pearl itself is life itself to me. I just can't seem to settle down if that pearl isn't in its proper place atop my head. But I've heard my pearl has been sighted. It's said to be on a rocky bluff, but this bluff is reported to be extremely unsafe. I could never go somewhere so frightening. Oh, friendly readers, would you be so kind as to go to the bluff and get my pearl? I beg your help, exploration team members. From Spoink. Wait a second. We're going to fetch an item that someone dropped? I'd rather do something that's more of an adventure. Like, I'd rather look for treasures and explore known places, things like that. Hush. Thanks. It is important that your rookies pay your dues. Now pay attention. I'll repeat these warnings again to make sure they stick. You'll be forced out of a dungeon and sent back here if either of you faints. You lose half your money. You could lose half your items or more. You best be careful. If you understood all that, I suggest you get on with the job. Mm. Well, who takes our items? Don't ask questions. Wigglytuff, like, hiding it all in this back room. This must be the bluff's entrance. This point's mission description said the pearl is deep down on the B7 floor. This sounds like a seriously dangerous place, so let's be careful. Let's do our best, Tanner. Yeah. Okay. So essentially, you... Okay, so we can now hold one item... <laughs> I don't like bows only work with how it went there by a Pokemon. So. So right now we have an Orenberry, a Defense Scarf, and a Lime Bow. So we can give the Defense Scarf, which obviously ups defense, to me, who has a lot of defense. The Lime Bow. Slightly boost Pokemon's attack, special attack, defense, and special defense. We're gonna give that actually, to you. I think switch them around, actually. Because think about it, you already have good physical defense, so we don't really need to help you out. Whereas I don't have much physical defense, where you might be weaker when it comes is when it comes to special defense. Or is that not how it works? Yeah. I mean, we could absolutely switch them. It's just this is so, they basically they give you the. The bow that is your aura that that goes on your main character, and then the um, like a thing that would be best suited for your partner Pokemon. Okay. So there is hunger in this game, uh, and you have to eat apples. So you have to like prepare, bring apples. Uh, gummies also do other things, um, but we'll get to those when we get to those. When they beat an enemy, you get experience. Hell yeah. So normally, when you, when you, when you take a job, you uh, it'll be on a certain floor of a dungeon, and then you go to that floor and get the item, or beat the enemy, or however, whichever you need to do. So we got Geo Pebbles, which are a thrown item. So you can just, like, if you're too far away to use an actual move, you can throw a rock at them. Yes, perfect. Tanner, go to level six. That was a good level up. Hey, go to level six. Was also a good level up. Do you get random stats each time? No, it's uh, it's just earlier levels you get more of them usually. Okay. Uh, because just a, a side warning. Uh, uh, evolution is going to be a long time away from us. 
because we're both stars. Yes. Well, no, like, normally we'd evolve at, like, level 16, but we are the, the main heroes, and therefore evolution is a little, uh, different for it's, us. It's story-based. Yes. So you, I'm assuming it's uh, this kind of the main gameplay. We go into dungeons, we find items in the dungeons, we sell the items, we leave the dungeon, or we get items for quests to get more experience, thus raising our values and all that? Yep. Okay. Max elixirs fully restore PP. They're actually pretty common, uh, and you'll need a lot of them, because some of the longer dungeons can get shrimp dressed up. Now, you know a bit more about competitive Pokemon than me. I've heard a little bit about what Chimchar can do. Can Turtwig? Is Turtwig very competitively viable in actual like, Pokemon? Um, I'm not sure. It's been a long time since I, uh... Yes, I have a lot of... Oh gosh, I've got some lag there, but that's fine. Uh, so basically all these different seeds I'm picking up do various things. Um, they kind of say what they do, kind of on the 10, sleep seed makes you sleep. That kind of deal. Uh, you can throw seeds at enemies to, to have their effect be on the enemy. So, like, I'm assuming there's, like, a poison seed or something like that? Yes, stuff like that. Speaking of poison, here's a peach berry. It heals poisons. So that was cringing. It's this game's version of uh, flinching. I don't know why they changed it, but they, they sure did. Cringe? Ah, someone just says something too cringe. You can't even attack them because you don't want to touch them for a little bit. <laughs> ah, there we go. Uh, I had to figure out how to do it on the emulator, but you can, in fact, run as well. Oh, look at that. It's these nuts. It's these nuts. Let's hurry back with them. Peter, you really were quick to grab those nuts. Th thank you. This pearl must be propped on my head, you see. I missed it so much. That I just couldn't settle down without it up there. So I was just boinging and sproinging everywhere. That's why I'm covered in dings and bumps. But thanks to you, that long nightmare is over. You have my sincere thanks. So we get the protein. He just hands us a hamburger. Yeah. A calcium. Glassy and, milk. And iron. And 2,000 monies. Holy shit. Oh, wow. 2,000 pokey. All this money is for us. Of course, of course. It's nothing compared to my pearls value. Farewell. You're rich, Tanner. We got rich just like that. Well done, team. No, hand that money over if you please. Huh? Most of the money from jobs goes to the guildmaster, you see. And your team's share of the money comes out to this much. Huh? We keep only 2,000 pokey. Or 200 pokey. We get 10% of our profits? That's awful. Well, that's the guild rule. You simply have to accept it. We didn't sign a contract. Hmm. Everyone, thanks for waiting. I finished making dinner. Come on, dinner's on. Look at Loudred. 
<laughs> Look at him scream. Blackbird's fucking hungry. He hasn't eaten in days. Jesus. Yeah, I'm done eating. Excellent meal. I'm stuffed and now I'm getting sleepy. Yep, I'm off to bed. Good night, Yang. So we do get our meals for free. Free meals and free board. Housing board. And a location to find contracts. And we get to keep the items we get in the locations. Yep, and so from the contracts. Contracts will pay because he gave us three items. We got to keep those. Yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. Like we get so 90% of the money profits go to the guild, but we keep items. They give us the locations, and basically, basically by doing the legwork, we get items and 10% of money. Correct. So not the worst. And you get to keep all the money we find in the dungeon itself too. Okay, it's a little better, although it does make me wonder where that money's going. It's jiggly, Probably. or wiggly tough. Where do you think it goes? Probably to his insatiable habits. Exactly. <laughs> like I said, I said one in three new members get put to him. I mean, we haven't seen a third guy yet, you know? It's true. There were three empty seats in those halls. Yep. Hall. yep. Listen, Tanner, wasn't today hectic? So much happened. When I'm relieved, our first job was a success. I was really upset how wiggly and tough skill took most of the money. That's nah, just the cost of training, I guess. We can't do anything about it. But what made me really happy today was getting thanked by Spoink. I had my cursor in the way, and I almost thought that said getting spanked by Spoink. <laughs> <laughs> yaw. I like to imagine instead of yawning, I just go, yawn. Yeah. I'm getting <laughs> sleepy. <laughs> I'm going to sleep. Let's try our best again tomorrow. Good night, Tanner. I whisper over, Joseph, have you ever heard of a man called Karl Marx? <laughs> Chapter 3, The Scream. Mid next moment. Open it up! It's morning! Yeah, good morning, Tanner. I think that's where we'll end our second episode. All right.